Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel and welcome to... So the first thing that I like to do before I even start putting on my makeup is wash my face. I just feel like it's really, really nice to give myself a fresh start and a nice clean canvas because most of the time I'm probably doing my makeup like midday, like 7 p.m. if I'm going out in the evening or something. So I'm not gonna put makeup on top of skin that I had been wearing all day because guess what? Your skin produces oils, your skin attracts dirt, and all of that stuff is on your skin. So you wanna get all that off before you put on your makeup. And you're gonna do that by washing your face. So after I wash my face, then I like to go in with my moisturizer. And the moisturizer that I've been using is my Malasthesia Moisturizer. And that is specifically for my skin condition. I do have Malasthesia and basically it is a fungal acne. And so the Malasthesia Moisturizer just helps me because it keeps my fungal acne under control. So I haven't been using any other moisturizer. I've strictly been using this one. And it's been working well for me. As y'all can see, I do have a couple of bumps on my forehead and that is because I haven't been consistent with it so I've really been trying to be consistent with it after my moisturizer I also like to go ahead and brush my lashes as y'all can see I do have eyelash extensions that's just how I've been feeling lately when I do my makeup I don't have to put on lashes and it is the most convenient beautiful peaceful wonderful magnificent thing that has ever happened to me but I think after this set I'm gonna take a break but anyway I like to go ahead and brush those into place lastly I just like to moisturize my lips and I think that is super duper important because at the end of your makeup you're gonna put on lip gloss or or a lipstick or whatever lip product you choose and you do not want your lips to be crusty nobody has time for that like you're gonna wait for your lips to be moisturized again before you go ahead and put lip gloss on like no put the lip gloss on before you start your makeup so that when you're done with your makeup your lips are nice and plump and juicy and ready to go I actually am going out tonight so I'm trying to look cute okay let's go ahead and let's get into it the first thing that we are going to get into is the brows. I did go ahead and take a paper towel and just cleaned off my brows and that's just to make sure there are no oils or moisturizer or anything on them at all. I want them to be as ashy and dry as possible. Which doesn't sound like the best thing but it is the best thing. Trust me you do not want to do your brows while they are slippery and oily and tricky and just now so now that my brows are nice and dry i'm gonna go ahead and brush them into place the way i want so i'm gonna take the milani weekend brow pencil and i'm gonna create tiny tiny little lines in the front of my brows I like to use this first because this basically just gives me a good outline so when I go in with the benefit literally all I'm doing is just making the brow darker or just adding a little bit more definition in places where I need it so those places would be the middle of my brows so I'm gonna take the precisely my brow and go ahead and fill in the middles of my brows make the ends darker also fill in the inside a little So now to conceal my brow, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Camel Concealer in the color Cinnamon. I always start from the middle. I 
say this, but to conceal my brows, I use the Morphe M124 brush. And then I'm going to clean that up using this Real Techniques brush. Fading out the fronts already because they're looking a little bit harsh and I don't like that. So I'm going to fade them out. If everything is not crisp right away, don't worry about that because this fine tip allows me to just go back in and crisp it up. I'm also going to use it to pull out the end. I'm probably going to have to go back later when I'm thoroughly done with my makeup and make the ends even sharper. But I'm going to do it for now. Because I'm a control freak. Make sure you blend every step before you move on to another step. Because if you don't blend thoroughly and you just go ahead and apply another layer of makeup, that's how you get flashback and that's how you get a cake face so make sure that you blend every step before you move on to the next step i'm gonna go ahead and do my blending because i do need to blend a little bit more especially right here i'm seeing a little bit of commotion i'm gonna go in with a little bit more concealer and put it on my lids to cancel them out i'm gonna use this big old morphe brush it's like a big old buffing brush. Well, a tiny buffing brush. And I'm gonna use that to buff it out. Now that that is nice and blended, I'm gonna blend it some more. I know that when I take my time blending and I really, really make everything look seamless, I'm gonna have the prettiest makeup at the end and I'm gonna be so proud of myself and so happy that I took my time, even if I'm late to where I'm going because I'm just gonna be looking at myself like, wow, you look good. If you're late and you look good, it's okay. So yeah, I got this new LA Girl Pore Concealer, so I'm trying to get it open. Y'all know they be doing the most at the beauty supply. People need to stop stealing from the beauty supply so they can stop packing things like like this because this packaging is just too much it's just too much hey so i got some scissors and i finally got it open that was such a workout for no reason i'm using that same brush let me tell y'all about this brush i love this brush especially if you pinch it squeeze it together and pinch it so that it is really 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 flat this this is from the james charles collection but i'm sure that they sell this brush by itself I'm taking my ellie girl pro concealer in the color espresso and that's what i'm gonna use to conceal the top of my brows um everybody doesn't like to conceal the top of their brows but i I do because I just really like the look that it gives me and then I'm gonna use that buffing brush again to rough that out and then you want to blend everything all together at the end so you get one crisp look so that is our brow y'all I think we did a great job when my brows look good I just feel so much more confident about the rest of my makeup process I know that everything else is gonna be good because the brows are good I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of my face and the first primer that I like to use is the elf poreless putty primer i literally cannot do my makeup without it just like the name says it is like a putty I like to mostly use this under my eyes because that's where I have the most pores on my chin, on my smile lines, and definitely on my forehead also. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and set the conceal that I put on my eyelids because I feel like it's going to start creasing. And to do that, I'm using my Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in Dark and that same buffing brush that I had used earlier. I really, really love the Fit Me Setting Powders. These things are actually pretty amazing. And they're only like $5, so... If you are looking for a nice drugstore setting powder, this is definitely the one. So this is me at the end of the video realizing that I forgot to tell you guys about the Jelly Pop Dew Primer and I forgot to use it completely. This is the Jelly Pop Dew Primer by e.l.f. This primer is absolutely amazing. I don't know how I forgot to use it. I don't know if my makeup is going to look any different. Well, my makeup doesn't look any different, but I don't know if it's going to wear any different because I skipped this process. But this is very important. I would not suggest skipping this. Love this stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> So next I'm going to go in with my Maybelline setting powder and this is in the color dark. I like to use this to set my face so when I put it on I definitely focus it on my smile lines, around my chin, on my nose, 
a little bit under my eyes not too much and right in the middle of my forehead because I do get oily right there so the idea with this is to put this anywhere where you get oily and where you know that your makeup will start to separate the fastest so this will just make sure that your makeup breaks apart slower now that we're all primed and ready to go I'm gonna go right in with my NARS foundation this is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation and this does give you a glowy finish and it is summertime so I am definitely all about a glowy finish to blend out my foundation I like to use a brush first and the brush that I'm gonna be using is the morphe m439 this is the perfect foundation brush perfect blending brush and I always start around my mouth and then I work my way out I found that this is the best way to apply your foundation I also like to bring my foundation down to my neck I also am gonna get my forehead I like to just be a little bit more careful with that part because my frontal is right there and the brows you know I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out very very well with the brush they say that it's best to blend with the brush first and then go in with a beauty blender if you are gonna use one and I definitely do think that it makes a difference it just makes your makeup blend so much better I'm also gonna use that foundation I'm gonna take a little tiny drop of it and that same brush that I used earlier for my eyebrows I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that and I'm gonna put it right in the front of my eyebrows And then I'm going to blend it out with that buffing brush that I've been using. For my concealer, I'm also going to be using my NARS Natural Radiant Concealer. And this is in the color Amand. It just always gives me the best finish, especially pairing it with the NARS foundation. Products that come from the same line typically blend the best together. Not only is it the same brand, but it's also the same line as far as the Radiant Creamy line. So I'm just going to start mapping out my concealer like this. So when I apply my concealer, I apply where I would want my nose contour to start a little bit away from it, not super close to it, but a little bit away from it because by the time you blend, you want to have enough space to where you don't blend too far out. I like to make sure that I really concentrate on making sure that I create like a little bit of a dimension with my concealer, if that makes any sense. And I also don't extend my concealer all the way out. I just like to do the little thing, which I also think is from TikTok. I've learned a lot about makeup from TikTok and I don't even watch TikTok. So that really tells you something. I'm also gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Concealer, I believe is what it's called. You can even see it's all smudged up and smucky and dirty. That is because this thing gets used while my concealer sits because I do like to let this NARS concealer sit. I believe that it gives me the best finish when I let it sit. I'm gonna go ahead and map out my bronzer. And the beauty blender that I'm using is by e.l.f. I think this is like a camel something. It's called something like that. So I'll take my time pouncing on this one spot and I start at the edge. So take your time. Keep all the product where you want it to be. I'm also going to blend out my bronzer. For me, I don't really consider myself contouring. I consider myself bronzing. And y'all see, like I barely used a lot of bronzer at all. I don't really like to use a lot of cream bronzer because I really, really love the powder bronzer that I've been using. And I'm obviously gonna show you guys that later on. I'm gonna go in and blend the concealer again right into the contour so that everything blends right in together. And it literally looks like one. 
And while that's sitting, I'm gonna go in with another e.l.f. Camel Concealer, and this one is in the color Chestnut. This one is a lot brighter. Put this right in the front of my under eye, just to brighten my face up a little bit. And as you can see, I am not using a lot at all because I literally just want it in this little front corner of my face right here, and that's it. So when you blend it, you also wanna make sure that you are concentrating your blend on this small little corner. And again, as I was saying earlier, I'm gonna make sure that I use this to define my nose. Hit the corner of my nose right here to create like a shadow. You guys see how easily that blended? It was like magic. It literally just disappeared. If you guys have not tried the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, you literally have to try it out. Like it is so amazing. They're extremely cheap and they work really, really well. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and this is in the color Honey. This is a brand new one. So let me go ahead and open this too. It's sealed shut. I have a fresh new beauty blender and I like to use a different blender for powders and creams. It's not really necessary, it's just something I prefer. As y'all can see, I'm also taking the time to blend out my nose concealer because I kind of forgot. My trick for setting powder is to not use a lot at all. You see how much of this powder is on this beauty blender? I'm still going to pat it on my hand because I do not want to use a lot at all. Like you do not need a lot and you just want to focus it right in that same area. And again, make sure you use this to define your nose. You want to make sure to hit every spot that you put the concealer on and i extended my concealer all the way out like this i also like to do this to create a little definition right there in my eyes i don't know what it is about that but i like the way that looks so i always do that i'm also gonna put it on my nose again not putting a lot at all also gonna put it on my forehead. I'm gonna put it on my brows too. Don't be scared to get it on your brows. It's not gonna ruin your brows or anything. It actually helps your brows because it helps them to like set in place. So yeah. For my all over the face powder, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation and this is definitely a new product that I've been using but I don't really know if it does anything crazy per se but I mean it works so I use it and I'm gonna just use that all over my face. I'm not gonna put it on the contour area though. I'm kinda gonna reverse contour with it. It's kinda creating a dimension, even though like I haven't done anything yet, you know? Y'all see that? Y'all see what I'm talking about? I, I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say. Then we haven't even bronzed yet and the face is already giving definition. This is the Chef's Kiss Blush by Milani in Blushing Berry. To apply my blush, I'm using the Morphe M405 brush. This blush is really, really intense, so don't get heavy handed with it. Be very, very light handed and fluffy when you apply it and apply it in a stippling motion. By the time I put my powder contour, it'll all blend in together. I know it might look a little crazy right now, but I promise we're gonna fix it. It's gonna come together. I'm also gonna put the blush on my nose. I love the way that looks, so I always do that. My powder beauty blender to blend this out right on the edge. I feel like blush is forgiving. Whenever I put too much on, I could pretty much just go in with my beauty blender to fix it and then add more if I remove too much. I know I look crazy. I know I probably look like a clown, but trust the process. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker in the color Mocha Mommy. Y'all already know the dark skin girls love this bronzer. This is one of the best bronzers on the market. It's definitely worth the price. I've only used this a good three times. As y'all can see, it is brand new. But the three times that I've used it, I've been obsessed with it. And to blend that out, I'm using the Morphe E4 brush, and this is a contouring brush, but I'm actually bronzing right now. So I'm gonna put it right underneath.
putting the contour in all the places that are contoured y'all saw that i did not put any cream contour on my forehead and that's just because i have a frontal on so i like to avoid as much extra as possible i'm gonna put on a lot of bronzer so just give me a second give me a second while i do this because i must go crazy Going in with my powder beauty blender again to blend everything all together even more. Do y'all see that? I'm gonna go in with this palette also. This is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And I'm gonna be using this shade right here, which is the darkest shade. I'm in the color medium to dark. I'm gonna use the Morphe E48 brush. I wanna focus this contour, which this is what I consider contour, and the other one I consider to be bronzer. I'm gonna use this more at the high points of my cheeks because I wanna create some dimension in my cheeks high up here. gonna set my under eyes one last time and this time I'm just gonna focus it right here I want to make sure this part is really really set and I'm even gonna let it sit but not for long at all like at all And now that I've created the indents, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in. And I really hope you guys are taking in what I'm giving out. Do y'all see this face? We're not even done yet. Bronze my face one more time. I'm taking the Fit Me setting powder again, and this time I'm gonna use it to reverse contour. I'm trying not to use a lot, but that was kind of a lot. I'm going to take that Sunstalker bronzer again, and I'm going to use it to create some dimension in my eyes because I don't want my eyes to be naked. And as you can see right now, they look a bit naked and they just look nude. I'm going to use the bronzer to create some dimension in my eyes. And this is a Morphe M441 brush. Another point is to make sure to bring this in like this, define this area of my eye, and this is the area that runs into my nose. My nose is looking a little bland. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Sunstalker just right here, just to create a little bit of some dimension in my nose. Actually, I'm gonna use this slanted Morphe brush instead. This is a brush that I usually use when I contour my nose, if I'm contouring my nose, because it's literally perfect, like it fits right in there. A little here, a little here, and again, bring that into my eyelid bronzer. The last thing that I'm gonna do now is my highlighter. And for highlighter, I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the color Wisp. And to apply it, I'll be using my Morphe M501 brush. I'm gonna put the highlighter on the highest point of my cheek. There was a point in my life where I would wear makeup and my highlighter had to be bright as hell. There was also a point when I would wear makeup where I was absolutely scared to wear highlighter at all. But now I just found the perfect way that I like to wear it and I found that the perfect way that I like to wear it is to just wear a very light amount to where it looks like my skin is just glowing from within. Y'all, I am looking at myself in my phone camera and this face looks 
so freaking flawless. I will literally sit here and after I'm done with my makeup, I will look at my phone camera and fix everything that I feel like needs to be fixed. I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only person that does this. And if you do this also, please comment down below because I don't know why. I just feel like I need to make sure that my makeup is like camera ready. You know, I'm gonna I'm a look on the camera. I wanna know what the camera sees, you know? And the camera thinks that my contour is not sharp enough. So I'm gonna sharpen my contour. I'm also gonna go ahead and extend out the end of my brows. I told y'all earlier that they were gonna fade out as I did my makeup. So I'm just gonna bring the definition back into them. And I'm also gonna brush them back into place. I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and this is a putty eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Semi Liner. I don't know what the heck this is called. I've had this eyeliner for a long, long, long time. Definitely need to get a new one soon. Usually I would also have a super snatched wing, but again, because I have eyelash extensions, I just like to make sure that when I take my makeup off, it's not gonna be super hard. And if I were to put on eyeliner, that would be like such a hassle to take off. So we're gonna skip that part, but the lower waterline does give a good effect. So now it's time for my lip look. Come a little closer. I love this lip gloss. It is so pretty. When you apply this, you wanna apply a little at a time because if you apply a lot at once, it leaves this like ugly streak. And then I'm gonna add the lip gloss on top again. I just realized that I forgot to put on bottom mascara, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational, whatever the heck they call this. So this is our face. Ah! Do you guys like it? So I'm already feeling myself, but we cannot forget our setting spray. I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I like to drench my face because it like tones down all that powder and all that madness. I did tell y'all that I'm going out tonight, so I'm also gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection. I do live in Texas, it does get humid. It gets humid in parties, so definitely gonna need this. I'm gonna only spray a little bit of this though. You do not wanna spray a lot of this at all. At all. That's all you need, I promise. so that is it for this video we are completely done here is our look what do you guys think i think we did a really good job i think that everything came together so beautifully of course there were little bumps on the road there are times where we were a little bit confused thinking what is going on here but as you can see it all comes together at the end sometimes it's hard for me to explain myself but i really hope that you guys understood what i was saying i hope that this helped you guys out if you enjoyed the video make sure to give me a thumbs up it helps me out a whole lot share with your friends share with your mom share with whoever send it all over the place post it on your facebook me i don't care thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye but don't we all just look so good like scrumptious scrumptious scrumptious
Everything's over tonight. We trying to do. Y'all need to go home. That's what y'all need to do. Because okay, be outside. At 2.30 a.m. That's what they're saying. It's, literally it's not 12, Courtney. This is my third time telling you. We're young people. Why are we going? Why are we going to sleep? It's only 2.30. It's only Me, I'm a grandma now. No. The only thing that would be open is Whataburger. Oof. No. I don't like that. And the line is like 5,000 years long. I don't like that. Look at Valerie. Valerie. I did slip in my makeup. That is not something that I do at all. I literally do not allow myself to slip in my makeup. But I didn't have any makeup wipes and I couldn't wash my face because I have eyelash extensions on. I couldn't wash my face the way that I would want to. So I literally just slept in my makeup, which is really bad and don't do it. But I did do it. And I ran to Walgreens this morning and got myself some makeup wipes. I'm just waiting in line at starbucks so i can get me a um a little drink i always like to get this drink after a crazy night <laughs>